I'm going to show you how to make a soda bread. This is so versatile, so quick, so easy, anybody can do it. I've got a bowl into which I'm going to add some white flour straight in and some wholemeal flour straight in, half and half. I'm going to use a teaspoon of salt, gives it a little bit of a kick in flavour. A teaspoon of bicarb, straight in, and obviously buttermilk. If you haven't got buttermilk, you can use milk if you want to. But what forces this whole bread to rise is the reaction with the buttermilk and the bicarb. You've got the acid and the alkali, and that's what forms all these beautiful bubbles and helps the bread rise. Now, scrape this out. Then, rather than getting your hands really dirty, use a wooden spoon initially. So give it a little mix round. The idea of the new book and the tour, actually, was based on the last tour I did, which was travelling around the country. For me, I've worked all over Great Britain, and some of the regions in this country have some fantastic bakes. And so what I wanted to do is almost preserve the tradition of baking in this country, because actually, I think this country make the best bakes in the world. Done properly, they cannot be touched. And I wanted to preserve it, and that's the idea of the tour and the book. Start it off, then you get your hands dirty. So get your hands inside, begin to mix all the ingredients together, folding it round, pushing it into the middle, and just scrunching it up. And eventually, this will come together into a ball of dough and it's coming together now you can see how much I've got there and there's a little bit of residue of flour inside. What I want readers to get out of the book and the tour is to get into baking, to find out from their region what they're famous for, whether it's using the ingredients or, a or it's basically a traditional recipe that's been passed down. I don't want to see these recipes die and so the idea is to get people in the kitchen and get them baking. Bring in my flour and I'm just going to do a light dusting on the top and this is where you basically fold all the ingredients together. You sort of mixed it in the bowl a little bit. So a little bit of a manipulation. Push it down, fold it up. Shape it into a ball by pushing your hands underneath. It's quite rustic, a soda bread. It doesn't have to be perfect. Bring your tray over, which you've lined with baking parchment. Pop it on there. A little bit more flour on the top. Big knife. Cut it all the way down to the tray, into quarters. I think for me, Britain holds quite a firm tradition of baking. So what I want to do is try and rejuvenate these recipes. And I want to make the people who go on the tour, who watch uh, the programmes, who read the books, to actually hold it and make it a family favourite and make it regularly. The whole beauty of baking, it's a family affair and I want people all over the country to celebrate their traditional bakes. Look at that. This is very hot, just releasing it from the paper, pop it onto a cooling wire and there you have it. A soda bread in less than an hour. Crispy, beautiful, smells amazing and that will satisfy anybody.